I paid a random guy to stalk me to get my boyfriend jealous. This claim is not my story time. I was sending me on Instagram. I repeat, this is not my story time. My boyfriend's already tried to break up with me four times this month. So I needed to think of a plan to make him jealous so that he could want to be with me. Here's a little backstory on how we met. He and I both come from the same country and we actually lived in the same neighborhood. His parents moved to the US and then my parents moved to the US. So when we got there, luckily we knew his family and it was really nice because my parents had somebody they could rely on. Well, can you probably guess? I had the biggest crush with him. I was literally in love with him from the time I met him when we were back in our country. When we would play as kids, I was like 10. But when we moved to the States, I was 16. So I was a little bit more grown up. I was hoping that he would see me and fall in love with me at first sight, but unfortunately it didn't happen like that. Instead, I waited until we were in college. I had a full glow up at this point. I grew out my hair and I stopped coloring it blonde. I got myself a skincare routine and I just decided to dress more feminine. I was 20 years old. I looked like a whole different person and I looked like a woman. He had been traveling for about a year and finally he came back. And the day he came back, our parents decided to have dinner together. And when he saw me again for the first time, he actually did a double take. It's like he almost didn't recognize who I was. Throughout the dinner, he kept staring at me and and finally, at the end of the night, I told him that I liked him. This is when he told me that he had never thought of me that way. And I asked him if we could just hang out for the week. He said yes. And by the end of the week, he asked me to be his girlfriend. And this is where I messed up. I started becoming really jealous and controlling. I realized that he had a lot of girlfriends and he just always was hanging out with his friends. He was always texting his friend group. And I just felt like he wasn't giving me enough attention. So I told him that he needed to spend more time with me and less time with his friends. And he agreed. One night while he was taking a nap, I installed an app on his phone that lets me track him. The app also forwards all of his messages over to my phone. This just made me feel better about the relationship. But then he started accusing me of being controlling. I guess me telling him to hang out with me more and less with his friends was not good. And also I told him to stop talking to his girlfriends. Then he broke up with me and I was devastated. Now look, yes, I was a little bit jealous and controlling, but I mean, come on, all relationships are like that. So I came up with a plan. I went up to this random guy in my college and I told him that if he stalked me, I would pay him $100 a week. I just wanted him to send me text messages, emails, and pictures of myself. Like he was following me around and he would just like take a picture and then send it to me. And then I started forwarding all of that to my ex. And it actually started to work. He said that he wanted to protect me. So he started spending more time with me. He would always make sure that I got home safe. Then I told him that my stalker spoke to me and that he was actually cute. And that maybe I should just date my stalker instead of him. He drove all the way to my house and asked me to be his girlfriend again. Everything was okay for a little bit, but then I started getting jealous again. Like I said, he's tried to break up with me four times this month. So I told him that my stalker came back. I kind of feel bad for lying about the stalker. I don't want him to break up with me. Am I crazy for doing this? What do you think? Get ready with me. Okay, so one of my closest friends, I've been friends with her since sixth grade. She had called me around 11 p.m. at night, and she was just crying, telling me about some personal stuff that was going on in her life. Because of what was going on, I had asked her if she wanted me to pick her up. Keep in mind that this friend lives two hours away from me, and I still offered to go pick her up at 11 p.m. just to be there for her. She tells me yes, that she wanted me to pick her up, so I went. Once we had gotten back to my place, she had told me that she was hungry, so I had asked her what she wanted to eat. We ended up going to Wendy's. After getting to Wendy's, she orders her food. I didn't order anything because I wasn't hungry, so it was just her that was eating. And I remember after she ordered, she waited for me to pay. Even though I wasn't ordering anything, she waited for me to pay. At the moment, I did think that it was kind of weird, but I just didn't say anything and I just paid for it. So then we go back to my place, she eats her food, and then we go to bed because by this time it's already like 4 a.m. The next day, I'm not even kidding you guys, as soon as she woke up, she asked me if I can take her to her friend's house who lives literally down the street from me. I straight up told her no, that I wasn't going to take her to her friend's house. I told her that if she wanted to go to her friend's house, she could ask her friend for a ride or she can Uber over there. But I told her that I wasn't going to be the one to take her over there because I was, I drove two hours away to pick her up, to be a good friend, to be there for her. And as soon as she gets to my house, she's asking if she can go see another friend. So then I'm just here thinking, okay, is that why she wanted me to pick her up? Just so that she can, you know, get to this friend. So she ends up Ubering to her friend's house and I'm just at home and later that day at night she didn't get back you guys to my place till like 10 p.m. She was at her house all day and then she still had the nerve to text me and be like can you pick me up. So then again I tell her no that I can't pick her up to ask her friend. So her friend ends up dropping her off and she gets back to my place and we just go to bed. I wasn't trying to be mean by telling her no, that I wasn't going to take her or pick her up. But you guys, it's like you don't ask a friend to pick you up. They pick you up, especially two hours away, and then you leave them and go to someone else's house. Like, I feel like that's just so rude. 
Like, if she wanted to be with that friend in the first place, she could have called her and asked her to drive the two hours and pick her up. But I know damn well that friend wouldn't have done it, and that's why she called me. So then the next day comes, and I needed to go to the grocery store. So that morning, she had gone with me to the grocery store. I needed stuff to make breakfast and dinner. While we were at the store, she started adding a whole bunch of food to my cart. She started adding cereal, strawberries, oranges, um, sodas, just like a whole bunch of food to the cart. And I didn't think anything of it until it came time to pay. She didn't offer. She didn't say, oh, I got it or nothing. She had me pay for it. And honestly, I did not have the guts to be like, what the heck, you know? So I just paid. So then we go back to my house and I cook breakfast for us. And after we eat, she tells me she's going to her friend's house again. So she goes to her friend's house and she, that night, I remember I was sleeping when she had gotten back. I remember I was getting ready for bed and I had texted her like, hey, I'm going to bed, you know, I'll leave the front door open. So I don't even know what time she got back, but when I had woken up, she was there. So then the next day, I'm cooking breakfast again and she's receiving a phone call. She answers the phone and I'm able to hear her mom on the phone and they're having a perfectly normal conversation and she had told me like when she had first called me crying, she had said that her mom was kicking her out of the house, that she didn't want her there anymore, which is why I had offered to go pick her up and tell her that she could stay here. So she gets off the phone and I'm just shocked. Like, what, you know, like they're okay with each other. So like a few minutes later, I asked her, how are you and your mom, you know? And she tells me that they're still not good and that her mom still doesn't want her at the house, even though I clearly heard the mom talking fine with her on the phone. So then I was like, you know what, um, I'm going to take you home, you know, because I knew she was lying to me. I knew they were fine. And I started thinking maybe it was she wanted to come visit her other friend, you know, maybe it was because of that. So I take her back home and I was so mad, you guys. I was just, I didn't know what to do. Later, I ended up running into her sister and her sister had asked why I don't come around and stuff anymore. And I had told her the whole situation and her sister had told me that that was not true at all that the mom never did that and stuff and so i kind of just ended up cutting her off okay so i had told my mom about the whole situation and she tells me that i'm dramatic for cutting her off because of that but i think i have every reason to i mean i was really upset i kind of felt like used in a way and just everything else that i've been through kind of just made me like realize i don't need people like that in my life but i don't know let me know what you guys think here's why i don't trust no one online anymore I'm not saying y'all shouldn't, but this is from experience. This was like two two years ago. And like I would play like a lot of Roblox. Like every day I would stay up playing Roblox. Specifically the hood. And I became friends with this one girl in that game. We were friends for like about a year to the point where we had like each other's locations even though we live like far away we're like long distance friends you know and then i sh i made like a the hood roblox tiktok account um it was low-key like kind of like viral you know like i wasn't famous but i was like known like i was known in the hood and i feel like she was like jealous she told me stop posting on that account or i'm gonna expose all your information basically blackmailing and she didn't want me to like post on it i don't know why but basically i dropped her and then a couple days later my phone number was leaked my address was leaked and my face was leaked i didn't really care that she leaked that that she leaked my face the only thing i really cared was about my address because leaking my address is just next level but either way i stopped playing the hood and I stopped posting on that account. And then since that account didn't have a Gmail, I lost. Like, I lost that account.